popular dating app called Tinder. A lot of folks are using this. You guys were actually able to hack it. Yeah, definitely. So with every every recommendation you get, they were giving you the exact、uh, latitude and longitude of every person on Tinder. Chintan Parik and Carlos Gill are computer science students. They say they recently discovered a security flaw. So this is what the app looks like. Tell us what we're looking at now and what we would likely know we're seeing. Sure. So right now you can get a bunch of recommendations. So you can swipe left, swipe right,、um, and you can tap their profile to see further images. You can see their name, you can see their bio, and you can see shared friends and shared likes. What we were able to do is grab、um, their exact position, so longitude and latitude. It's right here and under this position field, and we can map that out. So if we go here, we can just map out exactly where she is. Reducing and taking away the barriers. But Tinder's founder Sean Rad says not so. He declined to speak on camera, but he tells CNN the location data never pinpoints a user's exact location for security reasons. So that means that the latitude and longitude a hacker like Parikh and Gill might see is off by a few blocks. How'd you do it? So every app needs to connect to something in the server, and it does that by sending API requests. So there are endpoints on on every server that will let you send a request and get get data back. What we did was we routed all the traffic from our phones through our computers and just recorded all those requests. So let's say you're playing ping pong, right? And you bounce the ball and it hits something on the end, it bounces back. We basically just sat in the middle on the net and just、um, let the ball pass through us while recording exactly what the bot was doing. And so, have they fixed this? What What happened after you emailed them? So we emailed them and they fixed it like really quickly. They say they're really concerned about about privacy and apparently they really are because it was fixed within a couple of hours. Tinder reiterated their concerns and priorities to us in a statement, saying we take privacy of our users very seriously and have taken the appropriate measures to ensure that our user data cannot be accessed from anyone inside or outside the company. We became privy to a minor security flaw related to one of our releases and patched it up within hours of that release. It is no longer a problem. Tinder is not the only location dating app out there. There are more and more of these apps, especially ones that ask you to share your location. Do we need to keep in mind that oftentimes, you know, there's a lot of data behind a swipe or a click or something like that? Absolutely, something like a swipe. You you don't even think about it. You don't even think this could be a security issue. You don't even think that this could be a big problem. But all these dating sites, all these all these different apps, use your information and could potentially be a huge risk to yourself. This is a small startup, and and it it's gotten big, and a lot of folks are using it. What can they do as they grow to be more secure? It's tough as a startup. I mean, you're just growing so quickly, and there's always like things that you have to put out, things that you have to like handle. So it's it's just impossible to take tackle all of it. And you have you have limited resources. You can't do everything all the time. You can't do, you know, you can't just handle everything. So sometimes something like security can be pushed off to push a feature or to you know just grow. Um, so it's something that every startup has to deal with. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.